On this Memorial Day weekend, this story is about the survivors, the men who lived through a war that was unlike any other. Yeah, that's exactly right. June 6th marks the 75th anniversary of D-Day, the World War II invasion of Normandy. And a Collierville group called Forever Young Senior Veterans will be taking seven war vets to France. This is a really special thing. The organization was started by a woman who felt these members of the greatest generation uh, didn't get the credit they deserve. Here's Local 24 News reporter Mike Matthews, whose father fought in World War II. Guys, there are so many stories to tell on Memorial Day. And on this Memorial Day weekend, this story is about those who survived the war, who are now nearing the end of their lives and want to see the field of battle one more time. If there is such a thing as a good war, World War II was it. The fight was against evil to save the world from domination by power-crazed individuals. When it was over, the soldiers came back, stuffed all those war stories deep inside, and started to live, never mentioning it again, until near the end of their lives. It was something Diane Hyde witnessed on her organization's first veterans trip to the World War II Memorial in Washington, D.C. A lot of the men had never talked about the war, but we found that when they would come together as a group, then it would just start flowing out of them. And we just started hearing all these amazing stories of changes in their lives just from going to Washington, D.C. Diane Hyde founded her group just to help, to give the old vets one last wish before they passed away. Then it became groups. 30 veterans went on her first trip to the World War II Memorial in Washington, free of charge. She saw healing of souls still tattered from 70-year-old battles, and she heard them talk of war and life after war. Well, as I began to go with these veterans on the trips, and I just would hear their stories and hear their struggles and hear about the struggles within their families, that was my life. It is a way of saying thanks and remembering her family, a way to bring peace into a life. Height says her agency is not going to close when the last World War II veteran dies because she says, remember Korea, remember Vietnam. There's a lot of work still to do. In Memphis, Mike Matthews, Local 24 News.